week's parsha, Parshat Vayera. But in order to first understand this week's parsha, we have to look backwards to last week's parsha. Remember when uh, we had little children, my wife would often be able to tell the difference between a cry of hunger and a cry that the child needs to be changed or a cry where the child needed to go to sleep. Truthfully, I couldn't tell the difference between the cries, but to her, each one sounded differently. And in last week's parsha, we see that God is listening to the cry of the Jewish people. The etz akam shamati, out of their cry I heard, that na'akatam I heard, out of their moaning, uh, God responds. And a number of times over the course of last week's parsha, we see that God is listening intently to the varied cries for help that the Jewish people offer while enslaved in Egypt. And that's well and good. It's fine because we understand that God's able to differentiate in ways that maybe we can't as human beings. We say that misery loves company. We say that people gather together around a similar catastrophe. But we also, we also understand that in our lives, our own pain is personal and is unable to be compared to somebody else's. What I feel in a moment of distress isn't exactly what somebody else feels in that same exact circumstance. So God is able to hear the slight difference. In this week's parsha, we're confronted with an entirely different problem. And that's the problem of the fact that the Jewish people, Pharaoh, Moses, don't even listen to themselves. And it's even more difficult because they don't listen to God. In this week's parsha, time and time again, Moses remarks, what happens if they don't listen to me? What if, God, you provide a sign and they don't buy into the miracle? And time and time again, throughout the course of this week's parsha, we see the question, what happens if they don't listen? He goes to the elders of the Jewish people, and they buy in, but he's still concerned that the Jewish people won't listen. What if he goes to Pharaoh, and Pharaoh doesn't listen? He provides the eyewitness accounts of miracles. He provides the opportunity for people to see. But sometimes seeing isn't believing. And in this week's parsha, it takes an attuned ear to be able to listen. Listen to the word of God. Listen to the word of Moses, who is transmitting God's message. For Pharaoh to be able to internalize the message of another's suffering, he has to open his heart. But instead, he closes his. This week's parsha offers us an opportunity when listening to others, to hear what they're really saying, to listen deep with our heart, not with our ears, but to listen with our consciousness, with our soul, to be able to hear what others are really saying, to differentiate their small message from someone else's, and not to lump everybody's suffering together. It's easy to say that uh, some people walk through life unscathed, but when we look deep into people's lives, we understand that everyone has a moment of suffering, a moment of difficulty, a moment of challenge. And if we can in some way hear that, we can in some way hear that, some way we can see that, we recognize that we can in some way elevate and alleviate some of their pain. I pray that our own journey is recognized by others and that in that process, we understand that we're truly unique and that so, and so is everyone else. Have a wonderful week.